One of the first techniques that artists like to try pan pastels for is to lay in large backgrounds, underpaintings, colour washes, as this can be difficult and time consuming to do with pastel sticks. Uh, it also creates quite a lot of dust with pastel sticks. So I'm going to take one of the larger soft sponges, I'm going to use the big oval sponge. Um, the angle slice sponges are also great for this. Um, and I'm going to take permanent red, pan pastel permanent red. And so all I have to do is lift up two or three uh, swipes of color and then you can see how rich the color is. And you have complete control. So you can make it as smooth as you want. You can thin out the color the way I'm doing here at the top. Um, and you can even uh, add some tint of another color. For example, I'm going to use Hansi Yellow here and I'm going to use the Angle Slice Flat just to lay in a nice vignette. You can see the effect is uh, so quick and easy to achieve. And the best part is there's no dust. Um, and then if you want to, you can always use your regular pastel sticks over that and work on it as normal. And another great thing is you can completely erase the color. So you get a really nice, clean, erased color. I'm also going to show you the same technique on a gessoed canvas, which is a relatively unusual surface to use with pastels, but pan pastel and canvas work beautifully together. I'm going to use the, um, the blue and the angle slice flat, phthalo blue tint and angle slice flat. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow again. So here we've got a lovely, this is showing color mixing as well with the phthalo blue, creating a really nice yellow green effect. And again on canvas, the colors erase beautifully.